Breeze Corkery, Players Player of the Year. You look absolutely stunned and you look stunned on stage. Is that fair enough to say? Um, without doubt, um, I suppose I was you know, up against the likes of Geraldine Flint and Sinead and Goldrick from Dublin and you know, I I always hate being against my own player, especially Geraldine, but I mean she's a class act and you know, being being with the likes of her and that great and it's just amazing to to come to win. But you know, I suppose it's on behalf of the whole team of Cork. Um, you know, Deirdre Riley who unfortunately did missed out this year and Norita Kelly and all those players that the unsung heroes, so you know, it is very good. Still, I'm delighted. The incredible thing is that you play top class camogie as well, yet you've managed to be players' player of the year in football in the same year you play both. Um, well, I don't know about a top class camogie player, but uh, yeah, I play camogie as well. And um, I suppose it's you know, down in Cork, they're great to talk to each other, Eamon Ryan and Paddy Murray. Um, and you know, I'm, I'm very grateful for Rena Buckley and myself, we're both in the same league. Um, you know, I'm delighted that they do talk and they make life a lot easier for us. I know you're very modest and you want to talk about other people, but I just want to talk about you because you're Players Player of the Year. You've won the top award in football. I know you just still can't believe it, but it's an incredible achievement for you. Um, I suppose, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice to, you know, accept this award on behalf of the girls. Um, and I suppose my parents who, you know, when I was underage, bringing me around the place and stuff like that, and you know, kept me on the straight and narrow, which was probably a hard thing to do at the time. But um, you know, so I'm very grateful to everyone who helped me through. And you know, I can't, I can't look good without other girls around me making me look, look okay. So I'm delighted. You strike me as the kind of player who's almost embarrassed to win this. You don't play it for these kind of awards. You just play the game because you love it. Um, oh, definitely. I, I like. Um, I much prefer to win the All Ireland with the bunch of girls and. You know, it's a lot easier to train and do the sprints and do the hard slog in January with a bunch of girls. So, you know, you can't just do it on your own and I'm just delighted for everybody. I know you played in the halfbacks, but you got forward for a few scores this year as well. Maybe that helped you get this award. Um, maybe so, but I think a lot of them are epoxy. Um, the, jo the joke at training was Breach getting a score. So, um, you know, I think maybe sometimes you'd be just so determined to prove people wrong. Maybe that's maybe the best way I got them. But, I'd like to say thanks to Jamesy, Jamesy, um, our selector. He he was a good man to to laugh at me when I got a score. So come in, Jamesy. <laughs> well, you got a couple against Monaghan, and you got one in the final. I know, but you know, sure, they counted and we won, so that's the main thing. And tell me how many All Irelands you've won in both now? Um, Rena Buckley and myself have eleven won, so um, I think seven football and four camogie, so. And um, we're delighted with this year's win and Rena being captain is mighty as well. I'll plug away again next year. Um, you know, January will be hard to get fit now again after the winter, but you know, that's the joys of football. We'll we'll look forward to getting fit again and hopefully, you know, Eamon's staying on and a lot of the girls will stay on and we'll be delighted to see them all back again in January.